even though laws are trying to be made to like prevent this. Today I'm focusing on like a cute little mammal that's sadly getting poached for its fur in China, but before I get to it, I'll put some info on animal poaching. Animal poaching is illegal and killing of an animal like killing an elephant for their tusks or a rhino for their horns. Animal poaching is a problem here in the U.S., but it's equivalent to like killing the eagle, but it's rare to find one anyway, so that's why it's not a major issue. There are numerous amount of animals that are being poached, but I'm focusing on this animal for now. Red pandas are endangered animals that are less than that has less than there's less than 10 kids left in the wild. Uh, they typically don't attack humans as a herbivore, so it just makes it easier for poachers to do their thing. Uh, why does this happen? China continues to poach red pandas because their fur is considered like lucky. Uh, red pandas still considered lucky and often used for weddings in China. Uh, the reason this matters is if no one pays attention to animal poaching, then only like black market would be created. This a weird black market of people selling like animal parts, like royalty, tiger eyeballs, people just are weird like that. <coughs> this particular black market would increase if animal poaching continues to be a thing, possibly spreading the black market like worldwide. So I have a solution to raise awareness and maybe like use the use of drones to increase in like the habitat. The ability to use drones near our endangered animals habitat would be useful to pick out uh, poachers as well as the endangered animals so we can take them to like a animal shelter and rebuild the population. Uh, thank you. Um, thoughts, questions for Abdul? I thought that was very well organized, the way you presented your case here. Um, I want to ask you one question, though. Poaching is not a problem in the U.S., it is a problem in certain parts of the world. In places of where it is a problem, and it is already illegal, how serious are the governments in those areas of the world where the poaching is? Are they serious about stopping it, or are they taking a hands-off approach? What do you I feel like they're not as serious because if someone were to poach an animal, they would steal like a, a couple like months in jail or something. And it's not like they don't like focus much on like preventing it as they do with other issues. So uh, let me just tell me a little more about your awareness project. So here. You're thinking about what you can do. You can't change, you know, enforcement or laws in another part of the world. So tell me more about how you plan to just let people <coughs> become aware of the problem and how you hope they'll, they'll maybe act after getting that awareness. Uh, so I'll probably would be like make a website or some for addressing the awareness, maybe like a petition on top of that to focus on red pants for now. But like once the situation is like hopefully over than like to elephants and rhinos and because there's been animals that's been extinct because of poaching. So yeah, that's, that's probably Thank you. I agree with with the well organized, it was very easy to follow and I could see kind of your thoughts and understand what was important to you here. Um, I liked your idea for utilizing technology like the drones as part of that solution so that, you know, if you know that this area is monitored and it's an endangered area or it's an area where you know there are some endangered species, maybe people would be less likely to poach in that area. So I thought that was a, a good idea. It has to come with the enforcement probably, but um, a nice kind of smart way to increase at least awareness and potentially enforcement. Would the drones be uh, the enforcement people or would the drones be interested parties just sure. trying to stop poaching? I mean, like, for the drones, it'll probably just be like someone like flying into the area because, you know, drones got cameras. So it's probably just going to be for endangered, like, purposes to, like, prevent it for the time being. What would you pick Red Panda? They were just, I mean, they're cute, first of all. And it's like, and like, the fact that they like, you know, use their fur for hats that, you know, aren't even stylish, I just, I don't know, it kind of bothered me. What, uh, what, what kind of 
habitat, the red hens? In the habitat, they're usually in like the forest in China. Would drones be an effective surveillance device in heavily dense forests? I mean, yeah, that's, that's a good point for the drones. I mean, it's like, because like the red pandas do like make certain noises, so I guess if you can like pick that up, then maybe you'll be able to see them. And like due to deforestation as well, so I mean, I think the drones will probably pick that if the red pandas like making noise. Maybe like video cameras with them too, or something, like on the tree. On, on, on a tree, yeah, that could be a good idea as well. So there's currently no enforcement? No, there, there's been like one like group that's been like tried to like help with red pandas, but I can't see as much as there were for like elephants and rhinos. What group is that? The, the one group? It's like the it's like the red panda endangered center or something like that. I don't know like where exactly it's at, but that's just the name of it. Do you have any plans to reach out to them? Is that going there? No, I'm just saying the email. Oh, uh, well, yeah. I'll, research I'll, website. Yeah, I'll, like, I'll try to, like, communicate with them email you know, if, if, like, it's starting to get worse and worse. What other methods of awareness besides the drones um, did you think of to help Probably first of like banning the selling of those hats that they'd be making for uh, the red pandas on Are top. Illegal or? Yeah, because it's just you know I'll probably start with that like educating people about animal poaching on like other animals instead of red pandas, but like mainly red pandas for the time being. Mm -hmm. 